dear students today our topic is relative closes now in my previous lectures when we talked about conditional closes at that very time i gave you a brief overview what close means well a group of words containing a subject and a verb which forms a sentence or a part of sentence that is called as close and a sentence must include at least one main clause now let's know about these relative clauses now the clauses beginning with who which whose that when etc they are question words as well they are often used to modify nouns and some pronouns to identify people or things or to give more information about them when we use clauses like this such type of clauses they are called as relative clauses so i can write here clauses beginning with question words like who which where etc are often used to modify nouns and some pronouns to modify nouns and some pronouns to identify people or things to identify people or things or to give more information about them clauses used like this they are called as relative clauses so i shall repeat clauses beginning with question words who which where etc they are often used to modify nouns and some pronouns to identify people or things or to give more information about them and the clauses used like this they are called as relative clauses now i will write here some examples so that you can understand what relative clauses are for example number first do you know the people who live next to do you know the people now i have here used relative clause who live next to and this relative clause it tells us something about the people when we write this relative clause we come to know about the people number second there is a program tonight which you might like so again there is the relative clause <laughs> which you might like it tells us something about this program another example he lives in a village where there are no shops if we write only he lives in a village then there is not the clear information about this village but when we write where there are no shops we come to know about this village so here where there are no shops this is the relative clause another example my brother who lives in delhi is an engineer so here if i write here i have used commas if i write my brother is an engineer even the information is clear so here what i am giving i am giving the additional information about my 
brother. This is again my brother who lives in Delhi. I can write my brother is an engineer. The information is clear, but here I have given the additional information about my brother. And here this is the relative clause who lives in Delhi. As it can be seen from this, from these examples, a relative clause, it is a kind of subordinate clause or we can say dependent clause. Now, these relative clauses, they are introduced by relative pronouns and sometimes relative adverbs. Now, these <coughs> relative clauses, they are introduced by relative pronouns. Relative pronouns. And the related pronouns are who, whom, whose, which, that. These are called as related pronouns. And sometimes related adverbs like when, where, they can introduce related clauses of pronouns referring to time and place. So related adverbs. Related adverbs. Like when, where, can introduce relative clauses of pronouns referring to time and place. Now, let us first know what a relative pronoun means. Because relative clauses, they are mostly introduced by uh, relative pronouns. We must know what this relative pronoun means. Relative pronoun. As the name suggests, a relative pronoun relates or refers back to a noun or pronoun called its antecedent and it also joins clauses. So we can say a relative pronoun relates or refers back, refers back to a noun or pronoun called its antecedent and it also joins clauses. Now I will write here some examples so, so that you may understand how this relative pronoun relates or refers back to a noun and what this antecedent means. Number first, I met Ravi who had just returned. Now here, the relative pronoun is who? Because it relates or refers back to noun and the noun is here Rivi and Rivi is here antecedent. Another example. This is the house that Jack build. Now here, the relative pronoun is that and it relates, refers back to noun and the noun is house and house is here antecedent. But one thing you have to remember, my dear students, in order to prevent confusion and ambiguity, this relative pronoun, it should be placed as near as possible to its antecedent. Now, let us know about the choice of relative pronoun. <coughs> Another is choice of relative pronoun. Choice of relative pronoun. The choice of relative pronoun depends on whether the reference is to a person, animal or thing. So the choice of relative pronoun depends on number first, whether the reference is to a person, animal or thing. Number first, second, whether the reference is to a subject or an object. Subject or object. And number third, whether the reference is to a positive meaning, positive meaning. So 
so you have to keep these things in your mind that the choice of relative pronoun depends upon these three things now in the next video we shall discuss these relative pronouns and relative adverbs which are used to introduce relative clauses in detail